Now today we're going to be building a simple refracting telescope on this optical bench which is available from Skyhunt at www.skyhunt.net. We're going to be using some uh, simple optical parts. Uh, basically we're going to have uh, an objective lens. In this case it's a low-cost achromatic lens which is two lenses which are cemented together for better color correction. We're also going to be using a, uh, another uh, simple lens which is going to be our eyepiece and uh, we've got some various uh, mounting uh, holders for the lenses and uh, a few other uh, little pieces like an iris diaphragm etc. So I'm just going to show how we're going to put this together. Right now um, I've got a similar achromatic lens which is right now mounted in this post holder here and uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the focal length of this achromatic lens because we don't know what it is yet. Now the way that we're going to do that is we're going to uh, basically shine a light uh, through this lens and we're going to look at the image of the light on this uh, end uh, viewing uh, piece here and uh, this will be able to uh, help us determine what the focal length is using a simple equation. So I've got the video camera pointed at the image viewer right now and uh, I've got the uh, light bulb uh, in my hand here um, in, the, in the lamp and you can see the image of the light bulb moving around in the viewer as we bring it into focus. So we're, we're just going to move it back until we find a place where it's in best focus. And you can see that there's some writing on the bulb which becomes visible as we move it around. So you, this is about uh, the place where the writing on the bulb becomes in focus when it's uh, going through the achromatic lens. So we're now we're just going to measure the distance between the lamp and the achromat and then between the achromat and the viewing platform and we'll see what numbers we get. So the distance here is about uh, 60.5 centimeters and the distance here is about 52.5 centimeters. So for our objective lens, uh, A in this diagram shown below, it turns out to be 605 millimeters and A prime would be 525 millimeters. So uh, this would give us a uh, focal length of approximately 281 millimeters uh, when we plug it into the equation which is shown, shown below the diagram here. We then do this test uh, for the eyepiece lens, which we've got set up here. In this case, we have to bring the lamp and the um, viewing plate much closer together. Uh, the measurement for A here is about uh, 14 uh, centimeters, and it's about uh, 7 centimeters uh, to the, the viewing plate. So uh, we've got A equals 14, or 140 millimeters, and A prime equals 70 millimeters. And this gives us a focal length of around 47 millimeters for this eyepiece lens. So we've now put our optical elements together. We've got our achromatic uh, objective lens, which is right here. Uh, we've got our eyepiece lens, which is back here. And uh, we just put in an iris diaphragm, uh, which can uh, reduce the, um, the amount of light that can go between this lens and this lens. This helps to uh, improve the focus and uh, eliminate stray light as uh, the thing is in operation. So uh, we've got this set up, and uh, we're going to put our uh, HD camera on the end, and that way we can actually see what uh, we're viewing through the telescope in this direction. In order to use our video camera as a uh, eye of sorts, uh, rather than using our own human eye, we've had to uh, change the focus from a uh, very long uh, focus to very short, so uh, make a macro lens of sorts. And you can see here, if I put my finger in front of the camera, you can see that um, it really zooms in. You can see uh, the you know details of my finger and only a couple of centimeters away from the uh, video camera lens. So we've effectively made a macro lens for this camera. And this is the view in the distance of a uh, sign that we've put up just with some lettering on it so you can see that it's all in focus. And uh, this uh, sign is maybe about uh, 20 feet away, 25 feet away, something like that. 
One final point about our little telescope here is uh, how to calculate the final magnification. Now we measured the focal length of the objective lens and we also measured the focal length of the eyepiece lens and uh, it's a very simple equation to work it out. It's basically the focal length of the objective divided by the focal length of the eyepiece gives your magnification and since uh, the values were 281 and 46 this gives us an ultimate magnification of 6.1 times which is uh, fairly modest but this is uh, what we're able to put together with uh, the lenses that we had on hand.